Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. We're here in the Titan Battleship just outside of the city of Torgoth on the Gormot Titan. And we're about to go into the hangar to escape. But before we do that, I actually want to open a few more core crystals. Specifically, I want to get the remaining two so-called pity blades. I still wonder, is that what they're officially called by the developers? No, never mind. I have five legendary core crystals left. That should be enough to get the remaining two pity blades. And assuming I understand how this works, I'm going to get the first one on Rex and the second one on Nia. As long as everything goes according to plan, at least. The way I got Dagus definitely was not according to plan. Okay, that was definitely a common blade. Yeah. A Chroma Katana. Hmm. That's interesting. Don't worry. I'll go above and beyond. Huh. Electric is actually an element that I'm lacking right now. Still, I want the rare blades. So, the next one should be the pity blade. Let's find out if I understand this system as well as I think I do. Is it the right one? It's not. not the one I was expecting. <laughs> That's not the one I was expecting. Okay. So, Azami is not the rare blade I was expecting. I'm only guessing here, but it looks like what happened is that I succeeded in getting a rare blade, so the pity blade didn't come out. <laughs> well, that's a fine how do you do. Huh. I'm going to have to think about this. Way to go, RNG system, for ruining my plans. Thank you so very much. All right. I only have three legendary core crystals left. If I want to still try to get the two pity blades remaining, that's not enough. I need four. Ugh. Okay, is, do I have any crystals left in here? Any legendaries? Only commons on this one. Uh, okay, there's a legendary here. Sure, let's go for it. Oh, went too far out. Okay. 
I want the two pity blades. I'll have to do a bit of research into a zombie later. I know a little bit about her. But not very much. Not enough to really know what I'd be getting into. Okay, seriously? Oh, for the... <laughs> this isn't who it's supposed to be either. <laughs> Ursula. A healer blade. Huh. I know a bit more about Ursula than I do a zombie. <laughs> and I think the name for her pet is ridiculous. Barry. I mean... What is he, a piece of fruit? No, he's a rather large carnivore. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway. Okay, I give up. <laughs> this is not working. Alright, well... So, Rex says Godfrey, Dagus, Azami, and Ursula. Hmm. So that's two ice blades, a fire blade, and a dark blade. The dark element is interesting. And she's an ether cannon, which is a ranged weapon, obviously. And the lower the lower the HP of her driver, the more powerful her specials become. Hmm. Together at last. <laughs> well then. Let's see what I can make make of her. Bronze chip for just more attack power, or wing chip for higher critical. No extra special effects from any of these chips. For a negligible lowering of the block rate, I can get a decent boost to critical. With kind of meh auto attack, but still... Critical can be helpful. Let's go for that. Okay. And then, do I have any ox cores? Eh, not really. I mean, I could... I could skip travel out and refine some. Eh... Unfortunately, the really good ones would require items that I don't actually have. Hmm. 
Affinity Max Attack. That could be useful. And you know what? No, I've delayed long enough. Okay, so Rex has Pyra and Azami. And Nia has Dromark and Crosset. And of course, Tora is stuck with just Poppy. Alright, enough futzing around with this. Let's head on in. Not much further to exit. Not so fast, my dear intruders. Letting a terrorist from Torna out of my grasp would make me look very bad indeed. Oh, that emerald core crystal. You must be the Aegis. Much as it pains me to admit it, it seems Morad was right on the money. You know who Pyra is? Are you trying to capture her too, you ratbag? No, no, language. But of course. The most powerful blade in all of history, with the power to rend all rest asunder. Only a fool would know of that power and not seek to claim it. And I am no fool. Therefore, I will claim her as my own. You cannot argue with such logic. Flaw detected in final step of logic. Sorry, pal. But you've done all the capturing you're gonna do today. Such impertinence for a dirty terrorist. Let's go, Pyra. Got it. So this, uh, fellow is a driver. Hmm. Okay. There's no way Time you lot are going to down. win. I can take care of oh, myself. Oh, and his blade was saying something there, and we didn't get a chance to hear it. At least it wasn't very clear to me. Now that we've got ourselves a decent sized party, it's worth knowing how to deal with aggro. I already know, but sure, let's go over it again. I dare say you've already noticed, but while the driver is being attacked by an enemy, they'll be marked with a red ring. We call this the aggro marker. The wedges on the marker point to the direction to the targeting in uh, point to the targeting enemy or enemies, showing the direction you're being attacked from. Aggro is a measure of an enemy's aggression towards the drivers they're fighting. The more viciously you attack an enemy, the more it will want to attack you back. Drawing aggro is dangerous for healers. Since they have low HP, they're more likely to be incapacitated by attacks. Make sure to keep Nia's aggro low. Drivers that have defense-oriented classes are better equipped to draw aggro and absorb enemy attacks, so right now it's better for Tora to have the most aggro. Drivers with fighter-type classes are the ones that focus on dealing damage to the enemy. That's Rex, so main, make him the mainstay of your offense. Here's the cheat sheet. Defenders take the hit, healers heal defenders, and fighters hurt the enemy. Well, now you know about aggro and driver class. That's two things to keep in mind while you're giving Dougal what for. Bullseye! Steady! Oh, yeah. Rolling smash! <laughs> Now that you've got three people on your team, I'll give you a quick primer on the ceiling effects of blade combos. Take a look at the indicators the arrow is pointing to. These show the various ceiling state effects that can be applied if you execute a stage 3 blade combo. The final special you use in the blade combo will determine which ceiling effect is inflicted depending on the combo route. Once inflicted, a ceiling effect will continue until it gets overwritten by another seal. Regardless of type, sealing your enemy puts you at a massive advantage, so you should go all out to try and hit home with a stage 3 blade combo. So, I'm not sure I understand it correctly, but it seems to mean that you can only have one of those seals at a time. And there's not really anything worth sealing here. I, I could be wrong about this, but I think Dougal can't do any of those things anyway. So just go for whichever combo I want, basically. However, there is one drawback to be aware of. When you hit an enemy with a stage 3 blade combo, they'll acquire a resistance to that combo's element. When this happens, an orb signaling that resistance will appear around the enemy. These are called element orbs. 
Attack the enemy with the same element as the orb and you'll do greatly reduced damage. This means that using the same combo route repeatedly will deal much less damage. So when you use blade combos, you should experiment with different routes. Why not? Okay, looks like we got halfway there. That coward! He's just hiding behind his blade! What? Does common sense elude you? A blade can regenerate from any injury! Whereas if I die, my blade will return to a useless core! So it's okay to use them as a living shield? You weasel! Even if they can regenerate, that doesn't mean blades don't feel pain! <laughs> How cute! The Fleabag thinks we should care about Blade's feelings! <laughs> I wonder if you can feel pain! <sighs> what a stupid thing to say. I demand you hand great. over the Aegis! Oh. Oh. My yeah. career depends on it! Where is it? There it is. Boy, that was kind of clumsy. I still won, but... Huh. A bunch of core crystals. How? A mangy flea bag and a bunch of stinking kids? I triumphant return to more Ardane. With the Aegis! A Scooby-Doo villain, eh? Stinking kids. <laughs> meddling like kids, whatever. That's what he gets for trying to execute Nia. What? He was trying to take me back to Morardane. Rex, this is a trap. A trap? So they weren't actually going to execute you? No time! Talk later, Rex Rex. We should escape! Master Pawn is right. Chance of reinforcements very high. Let us make haste. Getting out of town would be a good start. So the blade's still there, that means Dougal was just knocked out. Although he seems to have disappeared. So rather than leave right away, I'm pretty sure there's a treasure chest or something in here. Aha, there it is. Oh. Treasure acquired. Okay, a core chip and some money. Scale chip, huh? Wonder if it's any good. 
Well, I have some... I have a new blade I could try it on. And I don't have her set, so manage blades. Okay, here we go. And there's Ursula. What do we get? Okay, that's pretty good, actually. Hmm. It'd be a waste to use it on Ursula, though. What would Pyra... What would Pyra make of it? Solid increase in attack power. Nothing else. Hmm. And draw mark. Yeah. S small increase in attack power. A bit more critical. A bit less block. Those last two don't really matter with him, though. Copy. Oh, she already has the scale chip. Okay. The bronze chips actually has something to recommend it. Good jump and block rate. But no. I'm sticking with the higher attack power. Godfrey? I don't have anything on him yet. He's a shield hammer. So I would want him to focus mainly on block rate. Block rate and attack power. Bronze chip might actually be pretty good on him, that being the case. Scale chip, better attack power, but lower block rate. Let's give him the bronze chip. Okay. Dagus, I haven't given him anything either. Ooh. That is good. Excellent critical rate. For a great axe, that's pretty important. I'm still leaning towards giving that to Pyra, though. Zami, I already gave her one. Oof, yeah. Really good for her, too. Crosset is the rare healer that's really good for damage. That's my understanding of her general workings. Hmm. I really should give her something. That auto attack rate is starting to look pretty pathetic. And I don't want to lower her critical rate. So, okay, yeah. Scale chip goes to Pyra. Alright then. Okay. Is there another treasure here? I was thinking maybe there was another key in that thing on the wall, but no. Mm. No more treasure. Okay. Right, so... I'm kind of curious... about Azami. I don't have any good... Um, any good um, ox cores to give her. I need to start increasing her trust. Oh, and also, I got a pouch expansion, didn't I?
Hmm, who should I give it to? Rex and Tora are really the best ones, I think. Let's give it to Tora. And then give him that. Okay, so now he will increase his arts even faster. Alright. Let's go. It's early morning as we bust out into the And arrived. Into Finally, the we're basin. here. Torgoth Relay Base. And there is a salvage point over here. And a treasure trove. I could go salvaging. Doesn't really seem like a good your time for it, does mind. it? Calm your mind. Uh, lock picking. I don't have any blades with that yet. At least I don't think I do. I wonder. I have I have a few common blades. see. Do any of them have lock picking? No, they do not. Okay. No lock picking. Fair enough. Morning. Let us face the day with a renewed <laughs> with renewed vigor. These flames again. It's her. And with a driver too this time. That's Morag, the flame bringer. Morag? Special Inquisitor Morag of Morardain, the most powerful driver in the Empire and wielder of Bridget. The most powerful blade. So together they're like ultra powerful. That's pretty simple. It looks like they were waiting for us. Yes, indeed. I did feel like we got away a little too easily. I don't know why I expected Dougal to slow you down at all. It was you, right? You're the one who spread the rumor that I was going to be executed. Just to lure Rex and the others here. You catch on quickly? Yes. You certainly proved useful. However... Rex and Pyra are the real price. <laughs> Not quite. The Emerald Core Crystal is the sign of the Aegis. If that blade is indeed the Aegis, then there's something I must do. What do you mean? The power to sunder all rest itself. I cannot allow that to happen again. Hyra destroyed the world. Don't be so stupid. You mean you didn't know? 500 years ago, during the Aegis War, the Aegis sank three continents to the Cloud Sea's bed. Three titans destroyed. I speak not but historical fact. She's not denying it. I'm on to you. You want to use Pyra as some kind of weapon. We're not going to let you do that. That is precisely the kind of scenario that I mean to prevent. And what if we resist? Then I will have to restrain you by force. In that case, I'll make this nice and clear. You will never take her! <laughs> then let's see if you have the strength to back up those words, boy. Okay, this is going to be a tough one. Okay, time to take you down. And hit! Steady! Daring shot! 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 Daring sh
Oh, wow, those arcs are increasing slowly. Oh my god, that's creepy. Boy, just so. Azami's heart really increased. Whoa! Now I'm Okay, I got a blow down it. Boy, I'm doing really badly on the timing of these. Okay, I timed that one properly. I shall defend you. Just I'm not doing a lot of damage. Okay, this isn't going too bad. Okay, I need a grenade launcher. Well, no, it seems it's finally time to talk about level 4 specials. Um, uh, okay, just pause the action in the middle of the boss fight, why don't you? Uh, really awkward time for all these tutorials, I swear. Level 4 specials are more special than the specials you're used to. You can't charge them up by using arts. How do you use them then? Well, you just need to stay physically close to your blade. If you stay close to your blade, your level 4 special gauge will increase. When the gauge is full, Activating the special will make the driver and blade unite in body and soul to deliver a truly spectacular attack. Well, rather than do that... Well, actually, yes, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Oh man, I missed that one. Okay. This is going okay. Red okay, I got a level up. I oh, don't know. I'm not satisfied with how that fight went. I don't know how to use ether cannons, it would appear. Stubborn child, why don't you just give it up? get Pyra. She's more than just the Aegis or some kind of weapon. She's a living being.
Tyra has somewhere she needs to go. And I'm gonna help her. I'm not gonna let you stand in her way. This is getting tiresome. The power of the Aegis is formidable, but the driver's skill betrays her. Stay vigilant, Morag. An unknown power lurks within this bow. But of course, this blade he calls Pyra. Your flames burn far stronger than hers, but her flames hide something deeper. Yeah, we saw that earlier. Is everyone all right? Hanging in there. Those two, very strong. I know. At this rate, we'll never. There has to be a way. Some kind of. She's a fireblade. We've got to find. Water. There! Guys, are you ready to run? Hmm? Sure. Then follow me. Ah, there they are. Pyra, can you manage a full-powered blast? Yes! Maybe one or two. That'll do. Getting predictable, boy. Look who's talking. Puppy, no! Roger, Roger. The water time. So that's their plan. There's actually some really good physics there while, about how the heat didn't melt the beams, it just weakened them enough. That's how it would actually work in real life. I feel slighted. How so? They actually held back against me in battle. You think that boy... Did you not see? He could have struck me with that blow, but he averted his aim. He did have good instincts, too. And I'm gonna help her. I'm not gonna let you stand in her way. The Aegis. If she is traveling with that boy, Perhaps it is worth letting them roam free for a while. You mean... We'll cross paths again. And when we do, we shall see. I don't think they're following us. Perhaps we're safe for now. 
You're right. We should get some rest. I can't go any further. Ah, oh, Tora is pooped as well. <sighs> See you later. Huh? We are grateful for all you've done. We wish you well on your travels. Farewell. I want to reach Elysium. What? I made a promise. I'm taking Pyra to Elysium. It's just... She gave half of her life to save mine. I owe her. Oh, Rex. But half the world seems to be after her. With the Titans dying off, living space is running out. That's gonna start wars. And people need weapons to fight wars. That's why they want her. <sighs> if I can prove Elysium exists, maybe I can stop the war that's coming. But fighting Morag taught me something. I'm not strong enough. I can't do this alone. Nia, you're a driver. We could really use a companion like you. If you wanted. Elysium. Do you really believe in that myth, kid? Well, Pyra told me that she was born there. Yet here she is. So it must exist. Right? <laughs> Your logic is almost as good as Dougal's. Listen, Rex. I don't know if you're stupid or just too nice for your own good. But what if Pyra's just lying? What if this is all an act, and one day she turns round and stabs you in the back? Pyra wouldn't do that. Of course I wouldn't. I don't have a knife. <laughs> so... serious. But you do have a sword. She... <laughs> <laughs> An emerald core crystal is the sign of the ages, huh? Sure, why not? This could be interesting. Really? My lady? I kind of want to see this Elysium for myself now. Maybe it really does exist. It does. An endless field of green among the clouds, huh? If the legends are true, even people like me. That's an interesting comment. She didn't say it out loud, she was thinking it. Ah, I'm sorry. Did I wrap it too tightly? It's fine. I'm fine. See? I can swing it like this, and it doesn't even... I knew it. Thanks. I feel much better now. I'm sure that's Nia's poultice doing its job. Thanks. Pyra? You hurt too. Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Hey, let me help. But aren't blades supposed to be able to regenerate? Thank you, Rex. No worries. Least I can do. There, all done. How's that? Hmm. Looks good. Um, Rex? Look, they're the same. Oh. Uh, yeah? I guess they are. <laughs>
so beautiful. Yeah. It really is. I guess... That's probably because you made it, Pyra. Huh? Um, no. What? I didn't mean it like that. You're just, um, really good at making fires. That's all. It's what I do. End of chapter two. Okay. We're all level 13. Well, I definitely needed a few level ups. Honestly, I was feeling a little under leveled. Time to start chapter three. Our own war. This is going to be a heavy one. Welcome home, Jin. Hey, Akos. I hear the Aegis awakened. Nasty shock for you? Or was it? Of course, my script showed how everything would play out from the start. Sure, you say that once it's all over and done with. It's easy to act smug when hindsight's on your side. Shut your mouth, Abrona. I'm shaking to my core. Where are the other two? Mikhail's inspecting the Ardanian factory. And my beloved sister is out hunting, as always. I'm sure she'll have found plenty of drivers to chew up and spit out by now. She likes to hunt, all right. Not sure we can use all of those core crystals, though. Do we know where the Aegis is right now? Have no fear, Jin. Of course we know her whereabouts. Abrona? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. It seems they're currently traveling away from the urban area of Gormont. Leaving the town? But there's nothing out that way. Perhaps they're on their way out of Gormont itself. Oh, and... What? It seems a certain shipment has set out. The core crystals heading to Indol for cleansing, huh? How pious of them. Shall we handle them? I can deal with that myself. You concentrate on the Aegis. Understood. Well, I am looking forward to clapping eyes on the Aegis. By the way, what of Nia? You know where she is? Yes. Look, this dot here. Without a doubt, this is Dromark's wavelength. It seems they're traveling together with the Aegis. With the Aegis? Huh. Do as you see fit. Understood. You don't need to ask me twice. Right then. We're gonna take the Monoceros. Hmm. As you wish. Hey. Don't do anything too reckless. All right. Akos is the type of character I find really annoying. What is that? A Cloud Sea Compass. A must-have for salvagers. It's sort of a map of the Cloud Sea. If you do this, and this, 
What's the date today? Um, a Mathitober 5th, 4058. Okay, so now we put the date in. See? Oh, this is very clever. Looks like Gormot is the closest country to the World Tree right now. All we need is a ship. The army has every ship in town in its grip. <sighs> We're kind of stuck. Seems that way. Sorry, I'm no use now. <laughs> I know, I know. But I'm all out of ideas. Rex Rex needs ship? <gasps> Tora, have good idea! You do? There is shipbuilder living at Gormok Titan's Bum Bum. Old friend of Tora's Grampy Pon, he called Umon. Maybe he help if we tell him what's what. Sure, it's worth a shot. Let's get going. Hey, Tora, this place where this Umon guy lives isn't affected by the Cloud Sea Tides, is it? Hmm? Why Rex Rex ask? Well, I noticed the Cloud Sea's been pretty low ever since we went off to save Nia. It's still low now, right? I was worrying that, depending on the situation, we might be forced to find a different route. Rex has a point. The Cloud Sea tides can have a marked effect on the areas you are able to traverse. Sometimes the Cloud Sea may allow you to swim to places that were once out of reach, but equally it can submerge previously reachable areas, halting your progress. Exactly. So I was wondering whether we need to worry about any of that where we're going right now. That makes sense, but is no problem. Path to the shipyard of Umon not affected by Cloud Sea at all. That's good to know. If it was somewhere we could only reach a high tide, we'd have to rest up somewhere until the clouds rise. That doesn't sound so bad to me. Frankly, I'd welcome a well-earned rest in an inn while we wait for the tide to change. No offense, Rex, but your helmet isn't always the most comfortable abode. Yes, yes, and you can always have a stretch and a lie down next time we visit the Inn of Torgoth. For now, though, we go to Shipyard of Umar. Well, eventually. N you now have the option to take long rests at lodging facilities. This lets you rest until the tides of the Cloud Sea have shifted. If you ever find that your way is blocked due to the shifting tides of the Cloud Sea, then just go back and have a long rest, whether you're tired or not. Since the tides of the Cloud Sea change every time you have a long rest, it's wise to check the Cloud Sea status in the environmental information display first. Oh, and you should bear in mind that it's not possible to take a long rest at every single lodging facility in all rest. But you can, certainly can in the one in Torgoth, which is just as well because Torgoth is quite sensitive to the comings and goings of the Cloud Sea. Okay. So let's see what affinity stuff we've gotten. Eh, not too much. Okay, let's switch back to let's switch Rex back to Pyra here. All right then. Gotta check the affinity charts. Poppy's strength increased. Okay. I believe my usefulness has increased. All right. I'll wield this power to protect my friends. How much trust do I have? Fair amount of trust. Won't be too long until I get Pirates level 3. And then Azami has a ways to go. Wow. Well, I'll worry about that later. Oh. Right, so I've got this place in the skip travel section. Yes. Okay, so first things first, go back to Torgoth. Seems kind of stupid since, you know, the army might be after us, but there are a couple side quests there, and I want to see about resting at the inn. Not necessarily to change the Cloud Sea's tide. But I might get a message after I do. Off we go! What will we find? Oh yeah, Cloud Sea's currently low. I want it to stay that way. But I do want it so I want to take a short rest. Oh 
Okay. Out of curiosity, how much can I level them up? Whoa, I can get Rex all the way to 18. Tora up to 17. Mia up to 19. Wow. Not doing it, though. I really hope that this actually works. Aha! Hey guys, why don't we go and check out the Forgotten Ways? Sounds great. Why exactly? Well, I mean, I don't know if there's anything there exactly. Let's just go and see what it's like. What, you don't want to go? That's what I wanted to see. Did you have a restful sleep? Nice cat nap. Wrong button. Okay, so there are a couple of s side quests. Let's see. Is it worth it to go to Garagorm's Ark or? I think it's only a little bit closer. If closer at all. Moi, what's he have to say? Gotta say, I was shocked by recent events. I mean, I'd heard rumors about Torna coming to town, but I never thought much would come of it. But then they went off on a rampage in an Imperial battleship, and to top it off, they destroyed our water tower. What a wicked bunch. Wow, that sucks. Anyway, I'm glad they're gone now. The sooner the town settles back down to its old peaceful self, the better. It's just a relief we didn't get involved. If the Flamebringer couldn't even take them, what chance would we have had? Yeah, I mean, Torna, definitely. They're the ones responsible. You're absolutely right. No question. I won't tell them if you won't. Okay. Popo. Meh meh. Big problem. Is something wrong? This first time Bipopo ever come to Gormont, and now Bipopo very lost. Come to play Tiger Tiger is a game that everybody talk about. Friends know where Bipopo can play? Yeah. Tora want to help out. Should be easy for Tora and friends. Many thank you. It's big, big help. Napon of good taste. This isn't the quest I thought it was. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, not the quest I thought it was. Shatoto. Shatoto make big mistake coming to Gorma. Something bothering, friend. Shatoto come from Argentum to do business in Gorma. But selling goods in this city only earn tiny profits. At times like this, Shatoto remember what Mama Pan say lots. Always thinking about supplies and demands. Products of Shatoto not attractive to Gormont and more ordained peoples here in Torgoth. But Shatoto not have money to go back to Argentum. Oh dear. Modelo. Oh, fair Gormont, many are thy charms. Sunlight like a mother's sweet caress. Branches stronger than in a father's arms. Oh, my apologies. I was merely expressing my love for the natural beauty of Gormont through poetry. Meh meh, amazing. I wish only that the children in the city would weave beautiful verses about their homeland also. But alas, it seems they are all more concerned with enjoying the present moment than pursuing the literary arts. Well, you know. Different tastes and all. It's just how life is. Is this a dead end? saying that there's a quest below me. I thought this would be a way across. Okay, so where was that quest? Further down, eh? There it is.
Ellen. Elenad? Elunid? I have no idea. Oh, there's gotta be someone who can help. I don't want to lose. Oh, hey, you there. Yeah, you. Something bothering, friend. Listen, have you heard of this pale beetle called the Snow White Rhino? Let's hear the details. I've got a bet going with my mate Leaf to see who can find one first. But just recently I heard something awful. Apparently Leaf asked this old guy he knows to go find a Snow White Rhino beetle for him. I mean, sure, Seagull File is dangerous for kids, but come on, seriously? Unfair, right? Yeah, sure. Right? Seriously. That's why I want you to go and fetch a Snow White Rhino for me, too. This has just become a proxy war. If Leaf's gonna use a mean trick like this, then so will I. My mam's no help. She tells me not, she tells me not to go anywhere dangerous, but then she tells me not to let him beat me, too. Anyway, this is really lucky for me. You'll help out, right? We'll take care of it. Awesome, thanks. Snow White Rhinos like to hang about near Seagull Fell, down near the tail end of Gormont. Oh, but apparently they only come out early in the morning. That's basically all I know. Eh, you'll work it out, I'm sure. I'll make sure you have some sort of I'll make sure to have some sort of reward ready for you. Look forward to it. A young man's prize. Uh, not active quest, thank you. Okay, that'll do to be going on with. Let's go see what Pyra wanted. So she asked us to go to the Forgotten Waste, which is where we first began on here on the Gormot Titan. Where Rex and Pyra washed up. Off we go! What will we find? Pretty foggy here right now. Ah, and there we go, a heart to heart. But first, collection point. Come out, come out. Alright. Heart to heart. We're back here. This is where my whole adventure with Rex really began. Oh right. This must be the spot where you and Rex washed up. No, we only made it here thanks to Gramps' efforts. And those efforts are the reason I'm like this now. Well, if you stayed that big, you couldn't exactly travel with us. I'd say you're just right. If I was my old self, I'd be able to carry you anywhere. Well, anywhere within reason. The world tree would be pushing it. Amazing! So how long it take you to get to Argentum from here? At the current separation, let's see... About ten days' travel. That long? You do it faster than that or you taste the whip, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> of course, that's not what I mean. But that's like three or four days by boat. My apologies. I'm not as young as I used to be. What is point of worrying now Gramp's not big anymore? True enough. That old body is a thing of the past. Well, I think you are adorable like this. I like it. Well, that's very kind of you, Pyra. Are you blushing, oldster? Oh, tell me, Rex, do you ever wish I was in my old form? So, I believe you get better trust from the various blades involved with the second option. With the first one, Rex kind of sputters about how, you know, he was useful because you didn't have to pay rent. But everyone seems to like him better when he uses this one. I think you better like this. Oh, -ho. you prefer me this way? It's cool to have you riding on my back for a change. Just hearing you encourage me from behind really sets my heart at ease. And when you were big, we couldn't just, you know, hang out or walk together. I like being able to stay close. I see, I see. You look rather pleased, Deserta. If I were to be honest, Rex's helmet is a little cramped. 
Not to mention the jolting and bumping and bouncing around. It's enough to make me lose my lunch at times. But hearing Rex say that, for the first time, it made me think that perhaps this was actually a good thing. I'm sorry about the jolting. Looks like I've got to get used to this situation too. That's all right, Rex. I'll keep the words of encouragement coming. I shall endeavor to become ever more reliable. Um, actually, if you're planning on nagging me constantly, maybe I'll pass. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to have Drew Max nagging voice in my ear all the time either. Cheeky socks. Ooh, language is there, huh? Yeah, Rex would kind of sputter about how he, it was useful to have Gramps big, and anyway, it was what he was used to. What have we here? If you chose the other option, I believe that's how it would have gone. Are there any other collection points nearby? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Get pirate anything? Probably not. Nope. Did get her some more trust. Okay, then. Let's skip travel back out of here. Let's see. So that Snow White Rhino Beetle is kind of sort of to the left of this place, Rhino Oasis. At least the left from how we're looking at the map. We're here. Which so, shall we? So it ought to be over here. What have we here? Flora heals an aching soul. Where's that other quest marker pointing me to? Ah, okay. I have this one marked as the active quest. Well. Anyway, as I was saying, Snow White Rhino Beetle ought to be over in this direction. I think. But only early in the morning. That's what the kid said. What have we here? So here's Seagull Fell. Ah, okay. I believe it's down on that island over there. But in order to get to that island, I need it to be high tide. So that means resting at the end. And back to Torgoth. Well, since I'm going back anyway, let's go to Tora's house and get that quest moving and where you let us go let's see here there we go meh meh so shiny shiny and sparkly sparkly you pop will not expect tiger tiger be like this looks so exciting you pop is not on a good taste Grampy Pawn of Tora make this. Amazing! Is okay to play? Of course okay, but have to pay Tora 100G for one play. Is no problem, Momo. Bipopo have plenty money. Then Bipopo get started. Meh meh, it's so difficult. Bipopo not give up hope. Nopon can't expect to be good at something first time. Try many time, get good, then maybe win glorious prize. Meh meh, Tora say prize? For prize, be Popo try again, try much more harder. 
Play as much as want. Tora and friends have relaxing time inside. Bipopo, it's been two hours. How is Gamer Pond doing? Bipopo think game is terrible. Meh meh. But Tiger Tiger is pinnacle of Nopon game artistry. Why Bipopo think is terrible? Bipopo is bring 48,000 G. But already use all gold. If no terrible game, then what? Stealing from poor Bipopo. Meh meh, so played 480 times? That mean one dying every 15 seconds. It's preposterous. Bipopo terrible, not game. Meh meh? Harumph. Meh meh. Well, Bipopo think about it. And game so fun, Bipopo keep, Bipopo keep playing. Spend all money. Bipopo have no regret. Really? No, that was a lie. Bipopo regret not getting prize. Wanted to at least get souvenir, and Tank Mod 3 is good souvenir. Tora can helping there. As a gesture, Tora get prize for Bipopo. Meh meh, really? Oh, thank you, thank you. Bipopo look forward to see top tier gaming talent of Tora put to good use. Well, we already have a tank mod 3, but we're using it, so we need to come get out, another one. Come out. I think this is basically an excuse to make you want to play Tiger Tiger a bunch. Let's see if we get lucky on the first try. Okay. like that tank mod 3 just to get this done. Oh, I missed that ether crystal. This is bad, I'm falling behind. bit better now. And I made it to the bottom, excellent. So I just missed that one ether crystal. I have to pick it up on my way back up. And don't get hit. Perfect. That should be a perfect score. Okay, no damage. All the ether crystals. All nine treasure chests. And four of them are parts. I really hope one of them is the tank mod 3. Boy, I actually was pretty far away from my high score. Oh yeah, first time! Wow, that was unbelievably lucky. I seriously did not believe I was going to get that the first try. I thought it was... I was going to have to off-screen this a bunch. Where is this little guy? There he is! Actually, before I forget again, there's something up here, I believe? This is Basics of Tiger Tiger 1, 2, and 3. So if I look in the item menu... Basics of Tiger Tiger 1. Move with direction buttons, attack with A, collect shinies and treasure. Basics 2. Meh meh, friend must attack jellyfish from above, turtles from the bottom. And three, meh meh, there is power-up item that let friend attack on the diagonal. <laughs> so, eh. I mean, I already knew all this, but that's how you learn it. You know, if, 
if you don't get it by playing the game itself, which, you know, maybe, maybe it's just escaping you for some reason, there's how you find that information. Anyway. Be popo. Um, there we go. Boy, I couldn't talk to him because the camera was stuck behind that cloth. Here you go. We went through a lot to get this. Oh yes, Rex, we went through an awful lot playing the game just once. <laughs> Much thanking. Now that Beepop will have this, we can go home to Argento. What time of what time was return ship again? Hmm. Mama! Is friend okay? Perhaps I should let Poppy handle this one herself. Beepop will just realized. You people use all money playing game. Nothing left for return ticket. Uh, um, you people ask favor. Friends, take me people back home to an Argentum trade guild, please. I don't think so. What mean no no? Fine then. Stay here at house of friend Tora. If that not to liking, can take me people back to Argentum any time. Or you know we could pick you up by the uh, scruff of your neck and just throw you out the door. Uh-huh. Grateful for helping. So. No big deal. Just uh, open the skip travel menu. Argentum Trade Guild. Goldmouth. Straight to the Central Exchange. Why not? I believe this is where we need to go anyway. Nah, long journeys make Tora tired. What will we find? Hello, lo, be popo home. Ah, useless Sunny Pond finally decided to grace home with presents. Melolo, okay. Yeah, she told us about her uh, Sunny Pond. Back when we, back when Rex was talking to her the first time. Mama? Wait, are you Malolo's son, Bipopo? Yes! Malolo hesitate to admit it, but yes. Usually Sunny Pond sit around and play board game all day, no help at all around house. So Malolo very proud when Sunny Pond say he leave to find work in Gormat, but why home so soon? Bipopo tell Mama Pond, but must listen to story before angry. Meh? Mama Pond give Bipopo money to get set up in Gormont, but money all gone. Gone? You mean you get robbed? And Rex here save my Bipopo? Uh, yes, that's exactly what happened. Uh, that's not quite how it went. Bipopo spend all money on famous game called Tiger Tiger. Meh? What this? Sorry to ask Mama Pond when looks so shocked, but Bipopo needing another 50,000 G. This time, definitely find work. Say find work, but clearly plan to waste all on game again. Mama Pond not born yesterday. Melolo not give any money. Not in million years. And useless Sunny Pond, no more Sunny Pond of mine. No want CB Popo ever again. Mama? That didn't go very well. Still, can't really blame her for being kind of angry. Hopefully she'll cool down. Meh. <laughs> uh. What Bipopo do now? Come back to Gormont? Bipopo want... Oh, Bipopo remember! Brought gift from Mama Pond in case of bad situation. The tank mod 3. Ah uh, yeah, that's the prize you got from Tiger Tiger, right? Mama Pond. Bipopo picked this up for you in Gormot. What that? It's called Tank Mod 3. In Gormot, very popular, very valuable. Mama Pond likes salvage things, so Bipopo won't give, but Bipopo is... Bipopo is best useless, Sunny Pond. Mama Pond so happy. Bipopo hopeless good for nothing, Sunny Pond, but always welcome at home with Mama Pond. Thank you, Mama Pond. Hooray, even Tora feeling moved. All's well that ends well. I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I guess.
That went a lot more smoothly than I expected. I seriously thought getting that tank mod 3 was going to take me forever. Oh, got Poppy's level 3. And Pyra's. Yeah. And Azami's level 2. And used up some more sparkle sugars. Okay. Alright, let's get those affinity charts opened up. That's what you get if you keep at it. Excellent, excellent. My fondness for you is what keeps me going. Way not to be creepy at all. <clears throat> what do I need to do for this one? Collect flowers. Okay. Basically just gather them from collection points. This shouldn't take me too long. And what about the next tier? Deal a certain amount of total damage. Collect HP potions. Raise affinity in combat. Perform a driver combo. Has to be present. It's enough to just be present, which means, I think that means that I just have to have her on Rex. She doesn't have to actually use one of her specials in the combo. She just has to be one of the blades equipped to Rex. So use her level 2 special. And use her level 1 special. Okay. How much trust do I need for the next? Oh. It's not done with trust. Well, that's inconvenient. Well, it's going to be at some place I haven't reached yet. That's why it's, the condition is question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay, well, moving on. Level three. New abilities acquired. Okay. I'm glad I got Pyra up to level three. It was starting to get a little cramped down there. Everything all mostly opened up. Use Pyra's favorite pouch item from the drinks category. I know what that is. Make food. I've only done that once. Okay, well, with all of that opened up, let's... Let more stuff happen. And now, shop for honeycomb sweets. And refill the sparkle sugars. There we go. And yeah, I think that's good for now. So. There's a Nopon up there who I want to talk to, but I don't remember exactly where he is. As long as I'm here. There he is, Mochichi. He's quite a ways further up. Alright, so now I'm above him. There's a treasure trove right down there. Let's see if I can get. Let's see if I can get that first. Oh come on, Rex! Jump over. There we go. You're all mine. Well, that's some good money. Agro boost two. That might be something worth equipping to. I was about to say Tora, but that was an ox core, and Poppy doesn't use ox core, so never mind. Chichi. Please answer question with Tora. Meh meh. Salvager ranks. Meh meh meh. Friends knowing about skill of Mochichi, very sneaky indeed. Since day Mochichi was born, Mochichi sees salvagers come and go, developed great skill of judging salvager ability. So, fair and honest is motto of Mochichi. 
So Mochichi offers service of ranking... Also, fair and honest is motto of Mochichi. So Mochichi offers service of ranking salvagers. So here's the thing. Yes, yes, so friends want Mochichi to judge salvager ability. All right, Mochichi rank friends. But Mochichi requires small cash fee for ranking service. Okay. Meh meh, friends look at Mochichi with scornful eye. Oh, but Mochichi do good service. When friends gain rank, give special reward for free as present. So friends pay fee for ranking now, yes? Well, I mean, it is a sort of certification. And, you know, certification services don't do that for free. So, yeah. That's how it works. Thanks greatly, friends. Now, let's see. Up and coming young Salvager Rex. Salvager Rank should be... What this? Ranks? Rex not even have rank. Rex well-known young salvager around our gentleman not actually do salvaging lately at all. Oh dear, oh dear. Mochichi assumed Rex, ashamed of Rex for even ask ranking with such neglect of skills. Come back when try harder. <laughs> yeah, so that means I have to do more salvaging. Let's see. Okay. Down I come. Now really quickly, what is the development level? here. Okay, so dev level 1, dev level 2 over in Gormont. Okay, I want to go to Gormont to buy sil to buy salvaging cylinders. So yeah, let's go to Torgoth, to the fountain. Load up. That was a slog. There we go. Let us go. Okay, so yeah, so their normals are four hundred. They would be four fifty over at Argentum. Silvers are sixteen hundred, and they would be eighteen hundred at Argentum. So no, I don't want to buy that many. Let's get up to 20 of these, and uh, that's more than I want to spend. Let's just get five. Okay. So when I find a new sal when I find new salvage points, I can check them out. Now, oh, wait a second, what, my mind is scattered right now. I wanted to go to the inn, that's why I was running this way. I want to change the level of the Cloud Sea, I want it to be high tide. That way I can get that Snow White Rhino Beetle. So, Long Rest still lets you level up, same as Short Rest. The difference is that Long Rest also lets you change the level of the Cloud Sea. is ruffled. Engage comb protocol. Uh, meh, meh. Mm, Tora dreamed about tasty sausage the size of Poppy. <laughs> well, unfortunately, we don't have any tasty sausages as far as I know. All right, so let's go back to Lida Oasis. Now just go. It's getting on towards evening. What have we here? So what pretty we soon here? we'll be able to get that Snow White Rhino Beetle. Flora heals an aching soul. Of course, I can just change the time manually. Pike what? That one. Oh dear. Steady! Rolling smash! Eagle Eye! Come on, yet. Get break. My throw is down. Oh, no. 
Charts. My usefulness has increased. I look forward to next time. <laughs> I shall wield this power in aid of my comrades. Girl Mark's such a straight arrow. I kind of like him. All right, so. When did it get so late? Oh, and I've started glowing. I'm a bit self-conscious. I'm pretty sure it's down on that island. What have we here? I'm going to put the quest on. Um, looks like it's not the right time of day. Alright, change time. Let's go to midnight. Still not the right time of day. I guess the kid said early morning rather than middle of the night. Come out, come out. Okay then. Let's change the time again. 4 a.m. Up. Oh, I did not mean to drop down here. Oh well. Treasure acquired. Boy, that almost fell right into the clouds. Common core crystals. Airflow. Poppy boosters engaged. I need wind mastery, which means that common blade that I got on my first crystal resonance. So, unfortunately, Azami, you have to go. It could also be this guy, I guess. Does he have wind mastery? He does. Hukut. Hukut? 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 Whatever. Well. Hey! You're the boss! Yes, I am. Useful, right? Poppy boosters engaged. So, it's impossible to get to this island without wind mastery. Ugh! Because that Knuckle Claws wind blade that you get first, you're required to get it as part of the main story. So you will have wind mastery when you get to this point. 
you, know, you can't change the cloud C to that height until you have that blade. Anyway, let's go back to a zombie. Together at last. <laughs> All right, it's almost five a.m. or five hundred, if you prefer the military version. Ah, now it's marked on my map, on my compass. It is down there. Okay, should have waited down here. There we go, Snow White Rhino. And rather than jumping off, skip travel back to Torgoth. Garagorm's Arch should be the closest place to turn in this quest. We're here. So, shall we? And down here. There's the kid. Illumined. Here you go. A snow white rhino. Amazing, so awesome, you really went and got one. Man, is there anything drivers can't do? Meh 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 heh heh. I gotta show Leaf right away. Come on, let's go to Garagorm's Arch. Leaf's always loafing there. Roger. Okay. Myron. My brother is a member of the Ardanian Military Engineer Corps. It's a dangerous job that mostly involves transporting core crystals. It's only thanks to my brother's influence that I was even able to move all the way out here to Torgoth. Really, truly? But now this torn a lot of shown up in Torgoth. Apparently, they even got away from Special Inquisitor Morag. Maybe we would have been better off living a quiet life in more Ardain after all. Yeah, Torna, absolutely. Um, that's who it was. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Crawl. I transferred here thinking Gormont was a peaceful place. But now we have to deal with terrorists even Lady Morag can't catch? How are grunts like us going to stand a chance? Torna must be seething after we caught one of their own. What if they're out to exact their revenge? Even if I wanted to go back to the homeland, with Consul Dugal gone, there's nobody to grant approval. Wait a minute, he is gone? Hmm. Did we actually kill him? That's kind of morbid. I mean, his blade was still there, so I thought he just got... He just passed out or something. Maybe he got sent back to Morardane in disgrace? I choose to believe that. I can't take it anymore. None of us are going to leave this place alive. Uh. Wow, okay. Looks like we kind of messed things up here. <laughs> I won. I won against Leaf. Look at He's so mad I managed to beat him. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Okay, I don't know how Rex is feeling, but I'm feeling kind of iffy that we got ourselves involved in a children's argument. <laughs> that doesn't really seem, I don't know, proper? Maybe it was just a stroke of luck that I met you drivers, but, well, I managed to do what my ma'am said, so at the end of the day, I'm happy. Oh yeah, here, with my thanks. Actually, my ma'am wanted you to have this too. Thanks a bunch. Quest complete. A fabulous hat. Elund is delighted to have acquired a Snow White Rhino before his rival Leaf. This will only raise his mother's hopes. Oh, Dromark leveled up. 
Hey. My mam's always so strict and she's obsessed with winning. She doesn't believe losing is ever an option. That's why she taught me some tricks to win a fight in case I ever get into one. First of all, break the enemy's stance. Then knock them over to topple them. Once you do that, none of your attacks will miss so you can beat the heck out of them. Of course, I've never actually got into a fight with Lee, so I haven't tested it out for myself. So yeah, that's the beginning of the driver combo. Break and then topple. I'm going to have a lot more to say about that later. Leaf. Hello, friend. I can't believe Ellen knows a bunch of drivers as amazing as you guys. I'm a bit jealous because the only driver I know is a lazy old bum. I bet you and your blaze do some awesome blade combos, am I right? You are so very right. You get an elemental effect along with that, so it should really help you get an edge up on your enemies. I really want to see a combo someday. Driver and blade fighting side by side. Yes, please. Okay. Well, we are getting quite Morning. long here. Let us face the day with a renewed vigor. So actually, I think this is the time to end the video. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. In the next episode, there's, if I remember correctly, one more side quest available. I'll get that done, and then we will proceed on with the main quest. See you then.